future solo. The year is 2033, and in this state of decay, there are no running vehicles. Only the realest of survivors still alive, and she is all alone in lethal zones. Her name is Ogle, legendary survivor, but this time, she has no cars, she has no community. How will she take out all the plague hearts on foot, sleep deprived, trying to survive? Ogle the legend, her very life on the line. All right, we have the hidden weapons crates over there to our left. We might as well find a plague heart. We're carrying about all we can carry while staying light. Future solo. No running cars. Crazy. Yeah, I'm not super concerned with um, the hidden weapons crates. Like, if we need to, we'll go. We may not need to. This is about efficiency. We got 17 down. 17 to go, 11 hearts killed. All on foot, solo. I think we've only used one espresso. Alright, it's in the house. See if we can chuck these mollies. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Sweet. Did I hear one? A Baba Yaga. Yeah, there he is. Let's be proactive about this. Meeting our challenges head on, not avoiding them. All right, stamina out. Two phases. Hmm. Dodging on him. Aim high. Seems to be the key to not catching myself on fire. Well, I still caught myself on a little fire. Not too bad. Let's see if we can loot this. Nasty. I hear something, but that's okay. Yes, yeah, stims is really what we need. Take the shoddy shells, still traveling light. I uh, might as well use this, might as well take it. Yeah, we're good, man. I'm kind of liking this no vehicle thing. No fuss, no hassle. Just getting my cardio in. And I'm not gonna go to the hidden weapons crate. Wow, we could get an infinite rage, but that would be freaking heavy. Bloater, we gotta keep running. I was gonna execute that guy, but there's a bloater. Okay. Don't wanna get caught in an execution animation. Oh, wow, there's a bloater right there. I'm kinda thinking I go around the outside of the map. And then to the center. You know what I'm saying? Like... So I'm on foot, I have to just run the outside, I think. And then in the end, we'll run into the middle of the map and get all the middle buildings. I'll show you where we are. Okay, we are here. So you can see the route we've taken. You know, we knocked these out, came down around here. So I'm thinking like this section we go last, right down the river. That's my thoughts. 16 to go, though. Having fun. Feeling pretty good about it. Because we don't have the huge injuries. The injuries are what's going to scare me. When that red line is cut in half. I feel like most of my solos, that's the case. But this survivor is just so ridiculous. Oh, no. Okay. That could be bad, actually. If you got a bloat or something crazy. 
right now, can we close this? Yeah. Make him work for me. Boogeyman, and I see the boogeyman. I'm gonna drink a soda just to stay clean. Okay, get back to work. Oh, they busted through the door. Good for them. Good for them. I thought we'd hit both of them. Them and the heart. Maybe I toss a molly on them all, watch them sizzle. I'm still looking for sizzle. Don't think I forgot. I want sizzle back. Love that guy. Want that guy back. Gotta find someone with the name sizzle and the look of sizzle. It's possible. Okay, probably gonna have to drink one of these again. Because there's just a lot of dudes here. Feel safe here. It's my safe space. Somewhere. Nice. That was cool. That was cool. Would be good to loot that one. Let's see if we find another one that we bounce. Hmm, we still got another heart in this area. We could still go get that. We're not far from that hidden weapons crate if we so choose. Uh, probably should check those out. I don't want to have to come all the way back here in the end. That would be that would be rough. 15 to go. Uh, one more and we're halfway. Yes, and there is a heart over here. So that works out. We can hit this one, loot the one we just got. I think I'm going to switch over to the other gun. Probably make it a single shot. Yeah. It's mostly for the ferals. And we got the Baba Yaga. There he is. There he is. No worries, no worries. That snap aiming is good. Okay, soda time. Dude, we've had some cool um, plague heart pops lately with the fire and the bloater and stuff. Got a screamer in there. Let's go get it. House has a few zombies in it. Cool. Where's the one we just killed? It's this way? Can we go back that way? Can we check the map? We can. Okay, so that one's got six, so I grabbed something out of it. So this is the one. Alright, let's check that one. See what we can get out of it. Halfway! Halfway done. Feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. How are you feeling? Let me know in the comments. I, level of confidence between 1 and 10. 10 being like, dude, you got this. Eyes closed. There's no way. I'm never, I don't know if I'd ever say that because you just never know what can happen. 1 being like, nope, bro, it's all going to fall apart. You're way too overconfident, you're only halfway, and you're super sleepy, and you don't have a base you can really get to. Yeah, you're way overdoing this. Um, and, you know, obviously all the numbers in between. 
Yes, this is what I want. Fire. Can I carry that? Not really. Wish I wouldn't have taken it out of the plague heart. I'm gonna leave it. Need to stay light. Absolutely. Absolutely have to stay light. That I think that's the most important thing. As tempting as it is to take other weapons and like totally gear up, staying light is the key. Oh, we can go over here. There's probably going to be one right over here. Probably going to be one. We got my buddy, the Bounty Broker. Homeless Dave's buddy. If you didn't see that playthrough series, that was a really unique one. Living the van life in the apocalypse. Dave's got um, his girl Naomi as a follower, and he's got to complete an entire bounty pack living out of his van. So that was a fun one. I'll link that. It's definitely going to be linked at the end of this. You've probably already seen it if you're watching this. But if you didn't somehow, that's a fun one. It's hard to complete bounties with a follower and keep the follower alive. They are both Blood Plague survivors, so that part is helpful. You know, I feel like rolling up here on foot, you get like a free shot at the heart because the car didn't attract any attention. That was cool. That looked cool. Is there another one? In your face. Okay, I hear one, I think. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, I was gonna say, I wish I had some fire. I do. I could fire those dudes out of here. Let's just get to work, though. Can't really see who's around me, can I? I feel like there's one. About to grab me, but I guess not. All right, well that's that. I will right, keep rolling. I don't think we need to loot it. Awesome, thirteen to go. Killing these off at a fast pace, even though we don't have a car. We got three cures with us. Uh, if it gets you know much higher, I'll use one. We can craft them and pick them up at outposts and such. So that's nice. It's nice to have nice things like that. All right, let's see. Dude, it's clean all the way up to there. All right, we got a long run ahead of us. Like there's, it's, it's clear. How many of you have thrown explosives or fire in water before? And it took you like three things to realize you're wasting them. That's happened to me a couple times, I feel like. I feel like it was the Mickey Wilkerson, whatever. Yeah, let me know in the comments if that's happened to you. You threw fire or grenade. I think grenades. I don't know if they go off or not. But definitely not mollies and stuff. Cruising, man. All right, we're in plague territory. I felt like it was going to be a farther run than this. That wasn't that far. Yeah, it looks like a heart already. Nice. Let's just get it over with. Let's cheese it. Let's <laughs> just park the car right here. Never heard that phrase, cheesing. Until I started this channel. I'm not even sure if I use it right. Like, is it a negative thing? Is it like... I don't know. I don't know. You know, um, in the past, every now and then I get the comment, Oh, um, we shouldn't jump on cars to deal with ferals. Like, that's kind of the sissy way out. And I bet someone will be like, Oh, you shouldn't use snap aiming to deal with ferals. You know, like, it's like, all right, well, what do I have to do? Do I have to just, like beat him with my shoelace, I can't, you know, what, what do you want me to do?
Although I do get like 999 positive comments for every one negative. It's a super positive group, you guys. You guys are amazing. When I started this, or when it started to grow, people were like, oh, you better get ready. You're going to get all kinds of negative comments. I don't. I really don't. Very few. Very few negative comments. And even those help the algorithm, so whatever. Whatever. guys and loot this. Maybe. It seems like an easy... Like, I get a lot of them with that. Look at that. Look at that, Molly Guru. Did you see it? They're still running out on fire. <laughs> guru and I have this, oh, thing where if one of us throws a Molly, but the other one didn't see it, then it didn't really happen. Yes, that's what we needed. Can I? Oh, I can... Sledgehammer, let's dump the sledgehammer because it's going to need repair soon. Brand new sledgy. Yes. And the nade lets us take it without going over the limit. Alright, we can use a bandage. Rub our shoulder. Twelve to go. This is nice. Oh, there's one right here? Right here? Yes, we got lots of um, provisions. All kinds of nice things. Bloater. Bloater trying to creep up a cup has something for him. That rhyme. Whoa. Oh, dang. Well, that ain't good. Snap aiming gives, and the snap aiming takes away. We're gonna use this. All right, so we're down to two. Took some injury. It's life in the lethal zone. Nothing too significant. Let's get back to work. This should be a quick phase, because we hit it with that nade. And we got the extra hit with the sledgy. Hopefully we can wrap this thing up without another stimulant. Life coach! What'd you make? Oh, that's cool. Doing pretty good here, doing pretty good. Thought that might finish it. I think it was worth it. Now we can loot it too. Yep, took took some slices of injury though. Dude, we're getting all the right stuff. We take the nine mil out. We take all the stims. Stims over everything. And we can drop the bandage. Take this. And yes, not over the limit. Let's keep it rolling. Where to next? Yeah, th probably these. Brookie. Brooklyn. Ah, she can't hear me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, do you want to do anything? That's scary. Quite a horde over there. Running down the highway. Dude, Ogle's doing well, Brooklyn. We got 11 hearts to go. And we're in good shape. Yeah, yeah, you want to talk to us for a minute? Yeah, I'm eating my right now. Yeah, that's cool. 
Yeah, Rice Krispie Squares uh, in the comments, put your favorite childhood snack. Mine might have been homemade Rice Krispie Squares. It was back in the 80s, and I don't remember there being a commercial Rice Krispie Treat box. Like, you couldn't buy them. You had to make them at home. Mm. So that's what my madre would do. Uh, why don't you list your three favorite snacks in the mic? Um, let's see. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, you can um, life coach me here. I really like Rice Krispies. They're like, they melt in your mouth. I'm like, it's super sweet. You like cereal without the milk. <laughs> Yeah, I got two tiers of them. Alright. Uh, yeah, two mods for a game. I think we've used two on this series so far. Maybe not. No, I mean, we can craft them at base. I know you're used to watching us where we don't have a base. Because most of our playthroughs, there's no base, so you can't craft crap. Speaking of that, would you guys want to see another 5 map, no base, playthrough starting with, like, a noob character again? Like Eka, like, um... Like Fuzzy? Or do you want to just keep seeing new stuff? Any ideas? Let me know in the comments. Right, two faces. I don't know. I've done this many times. I know. Yeah. I just want to get those out of my hand. I can't carry stuff too long. Because of our, our weight, we want to keep the weight at light. You gotta run! Yeah. See, aren't you glad I requested Eka? Yes, Ogle. I was gonna run with Eka. Eka's also good, but Ogle's just next level. Yeah. Yeah, this character is so good. This is probably your best character out of yeah. all your characters. And it's also your first solo playthrough character. Yes, and I did not know what I was doing no. back then. We gotta rewatch that. I'm almost, I don't know, I gotta figure out how I can link it at the end. It's embarrassing how, how crazy, how little I knew, and how much easier the game was then, too. It, I know. <laughs> like, there wasn't all the things in the game that, that there are now. Like, I remember there was, like, one time where you left your character there for a while, and then oh, yeah. you realized it was Blood, uh, it was Blood Fudge, and there was, like, a base siege or something. Yes. Oh. And so you, like, you revived it. It was super close. What do you want me to do? Um, I'm not doing that so much this series. And I will if I have to. Um, I mean, maybe time for an outpost soon. I've got plenty of ammo with this. Well, it took a lot of time though. I don't know if I'll be able to finish with one with one of these. Uh, yeah. That's close. Yeah. Oh, I could run back to that other heart and loot it and then come back and finish, but nah, let's finish this while we got the stim. If we run out of the stim, I might consider doing that. Keep your eye on my stim situation. We should be able to finish this. Think, should I go back? Should I backtrack to loot that heart over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'll follow the life coach. They try not to backtrack too much just because we're on foot. We got nine hearts to go, Brooklyn. I like yep. it. This is going smoother than I anticipated. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought. Um, although, you know, like that screamer causing us to like flinch and clinch up and yeah. then. The um, feral like tackling, that's super dangerous. That could yeah, end it. Or true. a murder pack and a screamer could end it. A bloater and a murder pack could end it. So this is by no means close to like Dunzo. Yeah, if screamers are by like a horde, then it's like, mm -mm. like it's not, it's not good. Right. Because not only does the horde 
not only does it attract more zombies, but it also gets the horde to you, and you're just standing there. Like, there's, you know. I think I'm going to outpost this and get a third, um, a third cure. I think I'll use a cure now. Don't use a cure now. Well, I just, we don't need to play super risky if we can, um... If we can craft, look, I got 14, um, I got 14 med ruck points, whatever, in the base, so I might as well use them. I can't take them with me. That's true. Might as well craft them. You know what I'm saying? Let's actually craft two. One, and use one. Two, um, claim outposts. So check it out. So we can actually use this. We might as well use one of these. Clear. Take the other one. Now we're good to go. All right, cool. On the road. Or should we call it right here and go do something else? Um, I don't know. What do you What do you want to do? Should we do something else? Uh, sure. Okay. All right, y'all. Life coach has spoken. Her and I are gonna go do something else. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably go to like the gas station. Yeah, we're probably. Our <laughs> mom's car is out of gas, and yeah. we love the gas station. Yeah. Because it's got energy drinks, gior, I mean galore, <laughs> and um, snacks and stuff. So we'll probably do that. And then figure out what to do. And then figure out what to do. It's rare that we have a night off like this. I know. And we don't like we want nights, and then we don't know what to do when we get one. Yeah. We could watch a cheesy movie. We could go to the school and see that event that's going on. That's true. And just crash their party. Yeah. Yeah. It's for high schoolers though, but they won't mind if you're with me. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're gonna leave it right there. We got nine hearts to go. Next time I sit down at the seat, I'm going to punch the whole thing out. We're going to go for it. Yeah. Wait, day gonna... two. Look, day two just started. <laughs> day two. I appreciate all of you who are telling me how to balance the base. I really do. And I would struggle at that badly. Yeah. But we're going to finish this before day three. Um, we're going to rip right up here. 28 play cards to start. Are you helping Dave? No, Dave's done. He finished. Oh. Almost Dave is finished. Did you, did you get like, is that just like something that's there all the time? 20, 19 out of 28 players. I put it there. Yeah, I put it there. You can, I'm so you good at this that? game, I know how to put secure this territory up there. Yeah, it's a hack. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just tell you, just put it right here. You can put the missions up here. I don't want it there. Now it's not there. Oh, I do want it there. How do I do it? All right. Now it's up there. Boom. Yeah. All right, we're going to leave it right there. We're going to keep gaming. Straight through the apocalypse. Puffin. Thank you for letting me be a part of your day. Hopefully, I made it a little bit better. If you're enjoying this series, check out the playlists on my channel. There are a lot of other creative playthroughs for this game.